The PDP has been in power for 16 years in Benua State, and the state has witnessed significant development of the quality of life. Among the achievements of the state administration were road and rail infrastructure, agriculture, health, education, communication technology, water and sanitation, improved salaries, a new government, and most significantly, peace and security. Significantly, most of the landmark achievements were attained and sustained by the Sussam administration, which took over from eight years of Mr. George Akume, whose tenure was marred in internal violence, conflicts, and little development for the people. The Benue PDP is the most democratic organization in the country, where other parties are guided by civilian dictatorship and arrogance and impunity of party leaders. In Benue State, the PDP held primary at the ward, local government, and other state level. There were so many qualified candidates but at the end of the primary congress of the PDP on 8 December 2014, a candidate, Prince Tehemen Tazo, was elected in a dramatic but completely democratic manner. The highly intelligent PhD candidate in economics also held a BSc, MSc in monetary economics, MBA from the highly reputable Benue State University. He has been a local Catholic missionary, social worker who started his working career like Mother Theresa or President Obama among the poorest of the poor. He worked among the HIV and AIDS victims of Benue in the 23 local governments. He gave hope and life to most of these stigmatized, most rejected, and those at the margins of existence. Tehman Tazo a devout Catholic former altar boy and family man made himself available and loved the unlovable and starving who gave up hope. It was his empathy for the people that drove him to seek election to the State House of Assembly where he easily won his election in 2007 and served in the following committees. In 2011, he again won his election and returned to the House. His leadership style of servanthood, led by his simple, charismatic and dynamic personality, soon drew other members of the Assembly to him. He became Speaker of the Benue State Legislative Assembly at the age of 38. His relationship with his colleagues and the executive was very cordial. While he maintained the separation of powers, he smoothly interfaced with the executive to enact legislation and embarked on appropriation legislation to actualize the Sussam administration's strategy of our Benue, our future. Barely six months into his tenure as speaker, political pundits, schemers and pretenders joined efforts to stop this rising star. They challenged his re-election in court where in the governorship position of 2015 ganged up to bear witness against him. The court dissolved his election and he was sent to the political wilderness. The three and a half years that Tehemen Tazo went from the mountain top to the deep valley of politics showed us his measure of manhood and leadership. He remained connected to his political base and party. He became an entrepreneur by necessity, crisscrossing between Benue, Abuja and Bielsa State. His dogged determination to stay afloat financially to help the poor, his desire to serve and his love of expanding knowledge drove him to acquire higher degrees. He also taught economics at the University of Agriculture, Makudi, and also gave support to the needy giving scholarships and financial assistance to indigent students. When the Benue people were assailed by the scores of governorship aspirants in 2014, they remembered Tehemen Tazo. They called him the Manwe Sabi. <laughs> The 
because he shared their pains, fears, joys, and knew the way to create happiness through servanthood. They cheered him on and on till he caught the imagination of the PDP party and leadership. The man we Sabi is poised for victory. Today, he and his running mate represent the face of hope to the Benue people. The PDP does not face much challenge in the state because their closest rival party, the APC, is made up of a ragtag team of politicians who have passed the prime of life who had betrayed and beaten the PDP hand that fed them to prominence and lamplight. These APC leaders share nothing in common with the people of Benoit State. As the prospects of losing stirs them in the face, they have become more verbally and physically abusive and violent. On 31st January at Mede in Badede War 2015, the APC thugs attacked an innocent PDP member while they were in a rowdy rally procession. A PDP youth leader, Mr. Denen Oyiman Mede, was injured by gunshots from APC Trigger Happy Thugs. On 5th February, the PDP peaceful rally at Bajimba in Gumalekul government was disrupted when APC thugs opened fire into the crowd without any provocation. Injuring many people, Mr. Emmanuel Aila, a graduate applicant in the audience, was shot in the head and rushed to the Benua State University Teaching Hospital, Makudi. They represent an evil ideology of primitive accumulation of money and power at public expense and are prone to verbal and physical violence when democracy is mentioned. These big old men with old and unworkable ideas must now give way to a younger generation that is visionary creative and energetic and work together for a greater Benue of our dream. The Maui Sabi! The PDP is going to form the next government of Benue State and at the federal level as well. Benue is on the move. Tehemen Tazo, more than a candidate, is the face of hope. The collective aspiration of cooperation, honor and dignity and a greater Benue State. I stand here on behalf of all the aspirants, the elsewhere aspirants, to speak on the solidarity and great support we have for Tel Metazo. When we were contesting for this election, I was the chairman of the forum and Tazo was the secretary. We appointed him secretary because he was the youngest member of the team. By the grace of God, he has chosen the one who was the youngest. And we're all very proud of him. And all of us in the team of aspirants have vowed to support him. We have also called on all our supporters to vote for Tazo on mass. who are our people. And so this is your own party. This young man is energetic. If we look at the history of developed economies in the 21st century, they are looking at young, focused, highly educated, energetic young men. We need a young man under this economic try time. Who is an economist? This young man has a, B, has a master's in monetary economy. He has a master's in business administration. He has just defended, he has just defended his PhD in developmental economies. This one is a chemist. He has a BSc in chemistry. You will see how highly educated they are. This is what we need. As mothers, we are proud that our children are being celebrated. We are happy that the young ones have been given chance to show their own intelligence and their own strength uh, too. You can look at the attendance by our youth here. It is only right that the youth have a chance. 
in this land. And so we have done it before, and many of us are ready to do it again, and we will go out for GDP without mixing words, we will work in the state of local government and the country. I want to declare that our force is for GDP. That is from Senator that is what that's the least council of the Jonathan to Mendo to Tanzo. All of them we are working them. How to manage cash resources as an economist. Is a man who is savvy 
almost everything that will be good for you. The people of Benue State have asked me to say congratulations to the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mr. President, as an economist, as one who believes in statistics, what I have seen here is a pleasure of all the votes that you have on the Valentine Day, and that's what the women of Benue have asked me to tell you that this is going to be your Valentine gift. I don't have much to say, but to draw your attention to the fact that yesterday you were there for us when the insurgents came. You collaborated with the President of Senate, you collaborated with the Governor of Benue State to bring us peace. You have allowed for the establishment of a College of Medical Sciences in Uniagric. This is to show that you have the law for education. You have given this Benue State a chance of having two members in your cabinet, two ministers. One has defected, but we know that he has gone to the domain where they have certificate issues. And he is one of them, so we wish them well. Mr. President, lastly, Mr. President, lastly, I can assure you that you have given us, the younger ones, the opportunity to grow, and that is the spirit of PDP. And finally, the relationship that Benue people have enjoyed between Sue Swan and our boss, our dear leader, David Mark, and you. As your grandchildren coming up, we want to multiply their relationship and tell you that Mr. President will be there for you. No answer. are no longer favorable 
we must look inwards. And in looking inwards, our own state, we are blessed with agriculture. You have abundant Sadama land by the riverside here, isn't it? We will encourage you to farm rice, to farm in these Sadama areas. We will ensure that your farm products are protected. And then they are moved on this Obagaji Agabe Road, or they are moved from here to Shugudu to Tuboro.